going good and then all of a sudden it decides to start snowing real good. I can only imagine what the weather's going to be like over that way. It's so cold. <laughs> My first snowball in a long time. <laughs> you can throw it at him? Yeah. Right. He's, he's armed so it's fair. Alright, let's see. You guys should go right now one on one. <laughs> go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Had a fun time in Vegas, ended up taking second. Um, K Money ended up coming in 25th, which he's happy about, you know, first day here. Um, made the drive last night. Long drive, finally arrived. As you can see, fully loaded. Jonathan. This is how you have to pack me on the road. You get used to it. I feel like we overpacked. Yeah, I, feel we like, I feel like some of this stuff is unnecessary. I think we have two, four, six. No, let's see. One, two. I think we have like seven pairs of shoes. Yeah, one of the shoes. Never know. You know, cabs full. It's awesome. Okay, money, we made it. We made it, pal. <coughs> huh? We're here? Oh. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, people complain about room. Plenty of room. Uh, uh, man, uh, that was a nice trip. The bumpy back there? A little bit. Yeah. I think I hit my head hard early on. I blacked out until I heard you guys' voices just now. Whew, glad we're here. Nice to be in Arizona. We're actually headed to the course now after we take our luggage in, so. Whew. Ready to play? Yeah, I need to stretch out a little bit more. I'll be ready. So Paul, uh, you finished your first round of the Memorial Championship. How do you think you did on that? Um, I didn't play that well at all. Uh, I had a lot of OB strokes, really struggling on throwing my destroyers, which I think I throw the destroyer off the tee at least 12 times, so that's not good, especially out there at Vista. Uh, but my score was decent enough. I'm sitting three off the lead right now, ninth place. Uh, and uh, It's a long tournament, still three more rounds. And on a hole 15, you did a big roller. What uh, what disc did you use for that one? Uh, that was a G-Star crate. Uh, I think it was 170, 171, somewhere in there. But just turned it over, held it on that line. Um, I really like that disc because if it's in the air and I throw it like that, it'll hold that line. If I want a roller, just put on that turnover angle and it'll hold that line the whole way. And definitely, I think, one of the longest, longest drives of the tournament on that hole. Okay. And any thoughts for going into the... Uh, second round here at Fountain Hill? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been getting a lot of messages and comments and people saying, oh, you need to sh beat that 17, you need to beat that 18. 
but honestly, I'll be happy if I get half of that. You know, that was just a good round last year in a big situation. Um, but honestly, if I get half, if I shoot eight, nine, um, I'll, I'll be way happy with that. So uh, let's just go out there, get the birdies, avoid the bogeys. That's been my struggle so far this year is way too many bogeys. I need to clean that up and keep all my drives in bounds. And if I do that, I shouldn't have any bogeys. And right now, there's a little bit of wind. How do you think that's going to um, affect your playing? The wind here is common, uh, so I'm not, I'm not too surprised by it, but uh, it might cause me to throw a few safer shots than I'd like. But, you know, you gotta, you got to play the course. Like, you know, the, you got to play what the course gives you. And if it's bringing wind, you got to play safe on some holes and attack the holes that you can. But, uh, Again, just keeping it in bounds and not throwing it in that water over those lines is the key today. So, Paul, how do you feel about some of your uh, competition out there today and how they played yesterday? Um, those, those are some solid scores. There's a lot of scores that are grouped together right now. I think there's 16 people in the top 10 right now, which is pretty crazy to think about. And then there's probably about 30 within five strokes of the lead right now. So the competition is good right now. Um, I'm sure not everyone's satisfied with how they shot. Uh, I'm sure everyone had mistakes out there. But, uh, you know, it's a four-round tournament, so we'll see. We'll see how it grows and how the players handle, you know, the more pressure that they get each day. And you and Nate Doss were on the same card, and you guys were battling head-to-head. -head. What was that like? Uh, Nate's always fun to play with, you know. You, you can expect a good round out of him. But, you know, he occasionally has, or rarely, I should say, has those bad rounds or bad moments. Um, he's really good at scrambling on the course and getting pars and birdies and you know avoiding those bogeys. Uh, but yeah, Nate's always a pleasure to play with and he played pretty solid yesterday minus a few holes. All right, well we look forward to seeing your second day here at the Memorial Championship. Should be fun. your second round here at Fountain Hills. How did that go? I played actually really good for the win that we had, the conditions. Um, I had two unfortunate holes. I was putting three on hole two off the top, went way outside the circle, had to lay it up, take a five. And then uh, hole, I believe it's hole six, seven, hole seven. I got two meters twice on the same hole, took a six. So that really put a damper on my round, but came back to shoot a 51. Not many other people have shot too great, so I think I, I'm still within seven strokes of the lead, I would guess. Five would probably be good, but uh, yeah, still in it. So, two more rounds, 36 more holes of golf, which anything can happen. Purple, crooked, fat finger. I look great. <laughs> <laughs> we look so much worse when you turn it over. <laughs> All right, Paul, we're going into the third day of the Memorial Championship. Um, where are you uh, sitting right now? Uh, I'm currently tied for fifth right now. Three off the lead behind my teammate Jared Roan and uh, Drew Gibson's also up there. He's playing really well, 17-year-old kid. So, you know, I'm uh, struggling a bit out there, taking some big numbers, unusual big numbers. Just losing focus out there, but, you know, there's two more rounds and I'm still in a good spot. So, that's about where I'm sitting right now. 
and today looks like the uh, wind has died down. Is that going to be a, a huge advantage today? Um, it's not going to be as calm as it was the first day, so I won't be surprised if the score is around the same. Um, not explosive like last year. Not sure why, but uh, we're uh, hoping for some some calmness. Uh, but who knows? It's Arizona. It's a desert. It could pick up out of nowhere. So one thing that people don't see or hear about is you know little injuries that happen. And recently, you've had two fingers in, get injured. What what's going on with those? Um, last weekend at Vegas, I had a sidearm, I think, on hole 14 or something, a little one. Went to throw it, and it just came wobbling out and died out. I don't know why it happened. And then the next, I had a jump putt left, I jump putted it, and my hand just never opened up. My finger never opened up, like, oh, the disc. Yanked it way right, tried to pull it out, maybe it was jammed or something like that. After the round, later that night, I realized my whole finger here was just bruised up and swollen. I don't know why, but uh, it's finally, finally gone away and died down. And then yesterday, I injured my left pinky. I don't know if you can see it on there, but this whole finger is purple, maybe in the light a little bit. But that one was just a freak incident. Flip, flip your hand over and show them the, the, the crookedness of your pinky. <laughs> um, but, you know, it happens. All athletes play with injuries. So I'm excited today. I can finally close this hand and... Uh, Hopefully hold on to my destroyers and control them this time, unlike the first day. How'd you do, K Money? <laughs> couldn't. I played okay off the tee. Couldn't park anything and get easy birdies though, and um, just couldn't make any of my birdie putts. And then I made a few mistakes and got bogeys from them. So not fun, but I get to watch Paul try and win his third Memorial. So I'm gonna be here rooting him on and uh, supporting my buddy. So hope you guys are all rooting for him too.
Uh, we're sitting in the car eating some breakfast. It's Saturday at the memorial. Paul's teeing off at 12:10. We got John up here sitting shotgun. Oh, hey, John. What's up? Me and AB holding it down here in the back seat. So prediction time. AB, what are you calling? Uh, I'm gonna say Paul's gonna shoot. Uh, probably 42 and win by three. 42 to win by three. It's a bold prediction, John. You know what's funny is I was actually thinking the same thing was win by three. All right, three's, three seems like a good number. He's going for his third memorial, so winning by three would be would be pretty appropriate, I would say, right? Surfboard! Surfboard, indeed. All right, well, here comes the champ himself. We're gonna get the champ warm back up. Get him some nice warm clothes on. And we'll uh, we'll head back out for some more footage. They're calling this on a rain delay. Lightning. And uh, McBeast dropped down the thunder in the front nine, so they're trying to ice him down a little bit. But it ain't no big deal. We got this. So we're on hole number 14. And the tournament director called it uh, a rain delay because of the lightning. Um, how do you feel so far about your round? Good, I've been playing pretty solid. Went out there, got a bunch of birdies. What about? Through 13, I think I'm at 10 under or something like that. With four stroke lead, so four with four to play, pretty solid. As long as I can get at least two, I think I got it. So. Thank you. Um, I'm ready to get out of this rain. I'm really tired of it already. 